Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And on a Saturday, it's the first Saturday of the month. In fact, it is the first of the month. So that must mean it's time for cards in the mail to me. So I've got a whole array to show you today. Very excited about them. I'm going to show these three first because I then need to put them back on my desk in a certain area. So these three ladies in my team are cashing in vouchers for brand new product that doesn't go live until Tuesday. So I've got them carefully set aside on my desk so that I know to order from them, order the bits for them. So this one is Anne who has created a beautiful card here like this and then she's hidden perfectly behind this panel a little pocket for her vouchers to go in which is really sweet and then I've got an extra card in there with her list of goodies. I just think that's really clever that she's hidden it so very perfectly behind there. Just brilliant. And then Tracy sent me this which is stuffed full and is that her card to go with it or is that another card yes that's her card that came with this so absolutely rammed full of vouchers and her list in there as well and yeah two card the card in the box so yeah she's got lots to cash in she's done very well so she's been in my team gosh four years now i think so yeah that's um a lot of vouchers going on there so those two i'm just going to very carefully put in a special place on this desk to then transfer over to my other desk and then i want to show you this so this is the gorgeous ruth trice magnus who is a demonstrator here in the uk and she sent me this card which has got a beautiful note in it congratulating me on my million and she said that she made this ages ago and she's only just got around to posting it to me and I don't know how well you can see but this is 12 by 12 and she's hand stamped the most incredible rainbow of flowers. I recognise daisies, I recognise painted blossoms, uh, sorry painted harvest, was it painted harvest? I think it was called painted harvest, uh, perennial flowers, we've got painted poppies here, all sorts absolutely covered. I could be here for hours spotting all these flowers but what a beautiful rainbow and I'm just I sent a message to Ruth and I said I don't know what to say I've got no words I'm so touched and so humbled so Chris is going to get me a frame for it and it's going to go in my uh, my rainbow corner of my office but it's just absolutely beautiful what a wonderful work of art and like I say I could be here for hours just admiring it and then the most beautiful card to go with it too just lovely boys we've got gold we've got free hand stamping just amazing and then all of these elements are just like i say you could be there for hours and i i need to put this away otherwise i will be here for hours so i'm just going to get the packaging for it because i really don't want to get it damaged at all so i'm going to slide that back in there until i've got my frame but absolutely blown away incredible i'm such a lucky girl um thank you so much Ruth I've got here I've got a couple of cards they've actually arrived today so this one is from the lovely Gloria over in Germany and this one is from my upline so um this one is retired paper I miss this paper but I love it just all these lovely panels and then this one's a panelled card as well with um I can't remember the name, I want to say lots of leaves, lots of leaves is the stamp set but I don't remember the name of the die set but on there so just lovely and then I'm going to try and get these in the right order so <laughs> this is from the lovely Jen so I've showed this once or twice in videos before and it's an anti-slip mat that I have underneath my grid paper so it means that my grid paper doesn't slide around not massively when I'm filming and Jenny bought me my first one and she posted it to me when I was a very new demonstrator so we're talking seven years ago and she sent me this one and in her card she says I saw your last one it looked a little bit grubby um, so I'm sending you new so I've got a spare bit as well so it was a great big sheet so I've got a fresh one under there and some spare as well so Jenny thank you thank you for sorting out my anti-slip again <laughs> it made me laugh when that arrived right I'm going to try and get all of these correct so this is Kaz who's in my team and she was casting cashing in vouchers I love that little charm I need to know where that comes from 
and then I'm going to fold it this way because there's a note to me there and then here watch this so this is the inside so in here I've got a little envelope and inside my envelope I've got a list of what she wants to order and then there's another little envelope inside the envelope with her vouchers seriously I swear they're trying to outdo each other <laughs> I really think they are but how clever is that and then so this is her list of what she wants and then she's got framelits on there so vouchers in an envelope in an envelope in a card which is just utterly charming <laughs> I love that thank you Kaz you're such a sweetie right let me try and I think these were the ones that went together here's the other part right so lovely Helen so Hezabella and I know quite a few of you follow her on YouTube um, she sent me some gorgeous treats that came like this and so I've got a shimmery s and so those of you who follow her actually not on YouTube Facebook I meant <clears throat> she does the most remarkable watercoloring and hand stamping and hand watercoloring ever and she put some bits and bobs together for me and she's used a wax seal on here just lovely covered a notebook for me and the notebook that's too cute too bad mice each page has got little mice doing naughty things in them so I've got my own personalized covered notebook and then this box in here again stamped to match are oh, it's a mug it's also look at that in the bottom even the bottom of it and in here is the most divine mug in the world actually I totally spoil I'm absolutely spoiled rotten look at that oh I hope my lights aren't reflecting it says catnap on the inside and it's got cats and there's one asleep there with mice underneath and there's another cat on the back how oh I'm just totally spoiled I've never heard of the brand too too bad mice I might now be investigating it isn't it just charming bone china fine bone china and I presume English bone china knowing Hezabella the way I do I'm pretty sure that's going to be English bone china but what I just the postman came and he knocked on the door and I was like what's this parcel what's this parcel from Helen from and like I say just a lovely lovely note in there as well and I just I'm going to frame that because that's gorgeous totally spoilt oh goodness right let me bring some more out because I've got more here to show you and voucher I you know I think it's the voucher competition <laughs> so I've got a lovely little one here so this is um, Heather was cashing in vouchers and actually this card nearly didn't make it to me um, Chris was out in the garage which obviously is at the front of our house and he said this couple walked up pushing a pram now we live on a private drive so nobody comes up here who isn't destined for one of the houses so couriers come but people just don't randomly walk up and they went up to him and said is this number three and he said yes why and the letter was simply on the floor so the postman had dropped it but had dropped it like a half a mile away and they saw it when they were out walking their baby and they brought it to me so I was very lucky that this made it to me and then I've got a fancy fold card here and <laughs> I might possibly have designed and made a fancy fold at last I did comment recently and said I don't make fancy fold cards because we work in a different size to those folk over in America who work in eight and a half by eleven but I've got one and I love that I've had this one come from the lovely Karen she's popped this in the post to me I miss those ladybugs and this one's from this one's from Hillary so this one has come from the Netherlands and it's just lovely and we've got this is new ribbon to us and I think it's from the sweet the forever fern but how lovely that she's done the forever fern in not forever fern colors because it's forever greenery it's the sweet and the paper is very green everybody's just doing green she's not I love it Yvonne also cashing in vouchers I want to say that's the ornate is it the ornate thanks stamp set I don't remember but she's created me a little garden scene gorgeous love it okay <laughs> this was vouchers being cashed in so it was all wrapped around like this like an old um 
accountant's wallet where they would keep it bound with string or maybe like a legal envelope. But I loved this. And then inside here, so I had a card that's in here. And then in here were vouchers. Seriously, honestly, I promise you they are trying to outdo each other. No, I don't think they are at all. They just love to do creative stuff. So this is Sue in my team. But yeah, it was just what a lovely way to send a card and some vouchers. So although she was cashing in vouchers, which, you know, you've seen the size of. I don't think I've got any loose, so I'd have to open Kaz's again. They're just business card size. But you could put a gift voucher in something like that and the card and then seal it all up like this. Sue, brilliant idea. So that's Sue Bishop. But yeah, what a lovely way to give a card and a voucher. And it went round like it went round like that, but I'm, I don't want to risk damaging it. There we go, like that. And it was tied in a neat little bow, but there's never no chance of me ever doing that again. But yeah, what a really clever way to give a voucher and a card. Love it. Okay, so I've got some more here. Oh, this one's got vouchers in as well. Why have I hung on to this picture? I know why I've hung on to this picture. So. This one is Karen. So Karen is quite new to my team and she's a little pocket rocket. This is Karen Matthews, who is doing extraordinary things. She's recruiting and promoting and all sorts. And she cashed it. And seriously, she joined me in celebration. So only a few months ago, but a huge pile of vouchers to be cashed in already. And I love it. I love it. I love it that she's picked it up and she's she's gone on board straight away. She's like, yep, yeah, this is how I'm going to send my vouchers in a special little pocket brilliant and then who's this one from aha uh -huh. so this is astrid um and she was just simply saying thank you and she sent me a photo i do you know what i might not show them I'll, I'll let her show them to you but put it this way i have a photograph in my left hand with a rather large supply a collection of punches go on i'll show you <laughs> she collects punches that's considerably bigger than mine bigger than my collection not so sure that it's as big as Suzanne Huller's of Hullabaloo her collection could be a pretty immense but isn't that card lovely sending love your way and then with this postage I just I love it I love this stamp set and suite and then this one is from one of my girls over in France and Natalie is in my um, team over in France and I love this she was cashing in vouchers as well so we've got stitching we've got the mirrored the matching stitching on the inside and the outside and then these beautiful stamps oh they're so talented these girls aren't they right i've got some more here it's this one from this is from katie last who um became part of my team gosh three years ago i think it was or two years ago so that came from her and i love that she's very speckledy i think that's the only way i can say it. and she her styling is very much like mine so minimal stamping maximum impact and i just love that so all this little detail speckledy speckledyness that's such a word all around there and then this one is from my lovely Kay, who is Kay meller and she is paper craft skies on youtube and this little parcel of goodies came from her so this was the box unfortunately it got a little bit squished in the post but the book which i'll show you and the card were inside it as well so paper craft skies you'll see her and it pinched up at the top like i say the you know royal mail there you go so that's how it closed at the top they were inside and yeah this beautiful beautiful card <laughs> and i love the, uh, yeah see the postage label punch it's coming out to play again and then this gorgeous book <laughs> that's hard she's made the cover herself all hard backed and this is our touches of texture tasteful texture i can't remember the name of the paper but it's texture paper um but it's it's touches of texture or tasteful texture one of the two i don't remember or maybe even world of texture it's that paper that she's covered front and back she's attached the ribbon and then made a little pocket and this has a little journaling note on it and look at these tiny flowers and then her vouchers that she cashed in and it's all inside that little pocket there and all bound up like that and so i can use that for something else now although to be fair i might simply keep it with her vouchers in because i just think that's charming and they pop in and out like that with the tiny little flowers 
and then this one at the back just beautiful so i totally totally spoiled absolutely spoiled once again i just i never ever under underestimate how amazing it is to receive a handmade card in the post my phone's ringing me my phone's ringing me it is ringing me my phone is ringing but yeah never underestimate the power of a handmade card in the post because no matter whether that person is a card maker or a crafter themselves anybody receive anything handmade in this fashion will know and now there's a voicemail they will know that you've put love and thought and care and attention into it so always send what you make anyway thank you ever so much for joining me oh and i mean to mention about my arm because i've I had a little incident, the cat was on my lap, something startled her and she jumped up and she scratched my arm and I've filmed videos since but I kept forgetting to mention it so yeah it's just a cat scratch from the kitty cat. She's fine, I'm fine. Anyway thank you ever so much for joining me, hope to speak to you soon. Bye!